Hello world, this is Random Fix, and I do a lot of reviews on these portable power stations like this all way unit. So I did a review and they sent me a solar array like this. It's a 100 watt solar array. And this is portable, so you don't have to have a permanent fixture and you could have it in a campground and maybe there's some shade there and you can actually move this unit around. So in this review, we're gonna go ahead and put this to the test. We're gonna try it on on a couple of different other units from different vendors and stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel here. So we are gonna test the Allway 100 watt portable power array right here. I'm gonna show you guys the size, how convenient it is. We're gonna test it out. And these things are really great. If you've never had one before, they're kind of nice because you can get a permanent installation of a solar panel maybe on your shed even your camper van like I have a 200 watt array on my sprinter there however if I go park in the shade the solar array no longer works and so I put the box on the Prius just yesterday and we are getting ready for a road trip and we're gonna take the all-way unit with us and we're gonna talk all about the portability in this video and as I stated we're gonna put this to the test and make sure we can get that hundred watt out so I want to know what you guys are thinking Do you guys think it's gonna put out the hundred watts as it says or do you guys think it's gonna be a little bit less please leave your comments down below and let's get this test started so today we may have to do some sun chasing before I fold up the unit here I just wanted to show you the nice thing about having portable arrays like this is it's all about how you place the actual solar array and even though it looks like I'm in direct sunlight this unit is only getting less than 20 watts of power currently so in the winter time you're gonna have to angle it a little bit more and so I'm gonna go ahead and fold it up so I can show you guys what's included the portability and then we're gonna put it in a more optimum place so we can actually get the wattage that is supposed to put out so if you're using an all-way unit, the plug that it comes with goes right in. You don't need any adapters or anything. If you're not, this unit comes with all the adapters, which I'm going to show you right now. And that's how easy it is to fold it up. On the back side here, we have connectors. So we have the input to MC4 connectors. We also get an input wire to input wire. Then we get a variety of connectors that you could go ahead and attach to the tip here. Now that we know what cables are included, let's look at the controller. So the controller has two USBs out. So it's got a 2.4 amp out, 18 watt out, and then it's got a USB-C out and also an extra output here so you can connect it to the MC4 cable that I showed you earlier and then we also have the built-in hardwired output right here and those little connectors grow right on the top here so you can go ahead and make it work for almost any portable power station on the market and the unit is very very light it weighs in at around five pounds and it is about 16 inches in height and it's not perfectly square, but it's pretty square. And then width-wise, it's going to be about 5 inches with the adapters in the back, everything else back there as well. So let's go ahead and put this in a more optimum place to see if we can go ahead and get that 100 watts out. And the panel on this, by the way, is monocrystalline. This is one of the better materials, and everything feels nice and well. And it's got these protective sleeves. So the panels don't crash into each other. Hey everybody, I just wanted to give you a quick little update on something I discovered. So I was getting ready for my trip and I didn't want to plug in my solar power station into the wall because I was just going to use the solar panels. And I discovered that they actually have these built-in stands back here, which is really cool. And it gives you a pretty good angle. Look how portable this is and ultra compact. So if you were gonna go ahead and put this in your car, 
you can just go ahead and lay it down just like that and it's not going to take any room so size wise this is definitely a winner so we got the solar array out here and it's a nice sunny day how many clouds in the sky and currently the solar panel is putting out 45 watts of power and the nice thing is if you have let's just say multiple units you can go ahead and power up another unit as well so we'll go ahead and put some of the wattage to this solar power station right here and this one as well so you can see this drop down to 19 watts and this is at 26 watts and then to make it even more interesting let's try a third unit and even with the third unit plugged in we are getting anywhere from 2 to 8 watts this dropped down to 25 and this is at 21 so it looks like we're putting out about 50 watts of power and I don't know what I'm doing wrong here but I've tried this in different angles and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that I cannot increase the power to over 50 no matter what I do and I'm going to go ahead and unplug it from the other stations so we just have to monitor one and let's see if it does any better if we angle it down a little bit and at this angle we're getting 39 so it actually went down a little bit we are currently getting 38 watts and this is normally the angle you have during the summer months you know about 10 to 22 degrees and currently it's putting out 35 watts and with the solar array all the way flat we are only getting 22 watts of power so please let me know if I'm doing something wrong guys but I've definitely used solar panels before and as convenient as it is and portable nice size case uh, does not seem to put out the power that it is ranked for I even used a calculator I angled it at the 57 degrees for the winter and pointed right in the direction of the Sun so you guys are probably asking yourself should you get a portable solar array like this and let's talk about the good things it's ultra portable and very convenient you could fit it anywhere it lays flat and we saw it actually charge up three units at once so the controller that's built into this is amazing it has a USB-C out and it has two inputs out not to mention a whole bunch of other connections that are on the back and including USBs and then let's talk about the actual capacity well we saw the capacity isn't really at 100 watts and maybe it's a winter month here I did try my best to angle it at different positions and honestly for the price it's not a bad item to have if you have a powerable power station from all the way this is something that you kind of almost want to have especially if you're going to go camping and I don't care if you have a solar panel on your vehicle because a lot of times you're in the shade and if one of these panels here goes in the shade what happens is the wattage decreases pretty dramatically so having this option to be able to carry it out to an open field and charge up your devices without having to run your alternator and wasting gas especially with the price of gas these days so you guys are probably wondering if a portable array like this is the right decision and let me put it for you guys this way even though I have a heater hooked up here a lot of these portable power stations like this have passed through power so you can go ahead and use it as you're actually charging it and if I went ahead and turn off the small little heater here then what would happen is in about three hours this unit would be fully charged and the nice thing with doing that is you now can go camping you don't have to worry about getting ice for your refrigerator and running out of power for your drones and your laptop so this is pretty cool having this option and I wish the capacity was a little bit better and it did put out closer to 100 watts but overall 
this is something I could definitely use and I am going to be taking it with me on my trip. So I would love to hear from you guys. What do you guys think? Does it deserve a thumbs up? Or is this something that you may have to think about a little bit longer? Let me know. All right, everybody. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. If you guys got any questions about the portable power arrays like this or portable power stations, please comment down below as I would love to go ahead and answer them for you. And one other thing to note too is if there's any special deals or coupons available on these, I will go ahead and have a link to those in the description box down below. And I really want to thank all the way again for sending me the solar power array and the reason I keep my reviews as honest as I do and tell you guys exactly what's happening is because I want to help the vendor make a better product for everybody so first of all we're gonna get a better bang for your dollar and the manufacturers gonna have a lot less returns so I hope you guys are enjoying these honest videos please leave your comments down below as it really lets me know how I'm doing make sure to check out some of the different videos here on the portable power stations at the end of the video as well We'll see you guys on the next video and make it a great day.